and welcome to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. This is a giveaway too. I'm going to include details on how you enter the giveaway a bit later on in the video, kind of as I'm into shaving, just so you guys can watch a bit of the video first, have an understanding of what the scent is and whatnot. So what are we going to be shaving with today? This is from Hub City Soap Company, and this is Chats with Grandpa. Now, the way I would describe this scent, where well, you can see there's a barber pole on it. I wouldn't describe this as a traditional, typical barbershop scent. I would say it has elements of what you would expect from a barbershop. There's a slight powderiness you'd expect from a barbershop fragrance. However, the way I would describe this is very warming, quite calming. But based on kind of what I would expect from the notes, to be honest, there's amber, there's hay. I think there's a bit of patchouli in here as well. Don't be alarmed by the, the, the note patchouli. A lot of people, when they think of patchouli, they think of hippies. Patchouli is way more diverse than that. That is how I would describe it, very calm, very warming. It's, it has a nostalgic feel, the powderiness, but that isn't all it is, if you get what I mean. Overall, it's a really nice scent and I actually really enjoy it. Um, if, you're, if you're interested in, in entering the giveaway for this scent, keep watching, there'll be some details uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, what else am I using for the shave? I'm gonna be using the Smart Apollo Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. Do this every time. I'm going to be using that on the mild plate and inside that is a seventh use Wisdom at Super Stainless. And my brush today is going to be the Chisel and Hound. Cool looking brush. This has the V7 Venturian. Let's get a good load on here. Um, Hub City Soap is utilizing what they call the Raider Base. This is Hub City's first soap base. And as far as like first soap bases go, you do not get much better than this. The performance of this soap base reminds me very much of the original Ariana and Evans base. And if, if you guys have seen me use that before, um, you know how much I enjoy that. It's a phenomenal soap base. It works incredibly well. Very, very good. Um, Raider base is absolutely like that. It's, it's got quite a lot of super fats in it. Um, Manteca, which is pig fat. It's got beef tallow, it's got goat's milk, it's got lots of good skin nourishing ingredients. And uh, David has some really phenomenal scents as well. My personal favorites are this one, I really like Chats with Grandpa, Egyptus, Pages, Friday Night Lights. He's done some phenomenal fragrances. Um, yeah, really, really good company, Hub City. Good people or good person, I know David quite well. Very good products. Zero complaints. Oh, very nice. So let's get the uh, proto lather on the face and we'll get to lathering up. Oh, this scent is so warming. Very calming. Really nice. It is barbershoppy, but it's not like what you'd expect from a traditional barbershop. When I think of traditional barbershops, I think of um, scents like The Wanderer from Singari, Good Vibrations, Cad from PAA, Sterling's Barbershop, frankly. This isn't like that. This has a different spin on a barbershop scent for me. It's very warming. It has notes that, like things like amber, stuff like that. So. It almost has this really sweet warming feel and I really enjoy this scent. Let's get to leathering up. Could use a bit of water, a bit of the tips. Get the tips again. You'll notice that I don't splay if I don't see the lather growing. I see a lot of people displaying on their face without really anything happening. All they're doing is sp spreading dry lather across their face. So you see how it's growing here? I will only splay when that's happening and when it stops, I'll add more water and keep that going. It's a way I've uh, identified to kind of eradicate any brush burn. Splay is, I like to splay because I think it Builds good volume into the lather. 
but I don't want to aimlessly do it because you can get brush burn. This hub city base is so easy to dial in. Incredibly thick, it's creamy, very dense, it's a very good soap base. <laughs> very good. We're pretty much there already guys, to be honest. Um, like I said, super easy to use. Uh, for the giveaway, David is willing to ship worldwide. However, for example, if you, if you're from like Australia or outside of the United States, he's asking for the competition winner to cover the shipping. If you're located within the US, um, you do not need to cover the shipping. So if you're international and want to enter the giveaway, please bear that in mind. Shipping can get very expensive. In some cases, it can actually be more than the set, so. I can sympathize with that for sure. This lather's almost ready, guys. <laughs> Super easy to lather, very easy to work with. Dense, creamy, really high quality. And this is his first soap base. That, that, that's the thing that always really astounded me with this. It takes a lot of people to get, to, to be honest, a lot of artisans don't make his soap this good. Um, this, is, this is pretty top tier for me. But to do this with your first iteration is pretty phenomenal, I have to say. Yep, yeah, we'll good that. Oh, lather flying everywhere. Yep, where, where we need to be. Look at, look at how dense and wet that is. Really, really nice. Okay, let's get shaven here. Get that off the shirt. <laughs> I am gonna have a haircut today, so I won't look like a wild man for much longer. Okay. Let's get shaven then. So this is a Smart Apollo Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor with a 7th use Wizomet. Very light pressure, even though it's very mild. Super smooth. Sub is incredibly slick. Scent strength on this is probably about six. It's present, not in your face. Really nice though, I really enjoy it. Okay, while I rinse off my second pass, I'll give you some details on how to enter the giveaway. I'll be right back, you guys. Hope you're enjoying the shave thus far. I'm gonna give you some details on how you sign up for the, the giveaway or how you enter the giveaway rather. All you need to do is you need to follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube. If you have an Instagram, go over to Hub City and follow, follow them too. Produces loads of cool photos, cool shave of the day, stuff like that. And in the comments below, I want you to tell me whether you've tried Hub City Soap Company, what you think of their soap. If you haven't tried their soap, I want you to tell me what one from their website looks most interesting. Visit their website, I put that in the description down below and tell me what scents you like the like the sound of apart from that best of luck and uh i guess we'll get to the rest of the shave okay guys let's uh, lather up for this second pass here real easy really nice lather i can tell it's very wet kind of exactly how i want it for those subsequent passes to be honest i want it to be wet for all of the passes but the subsequent passes definitely require 
way more slickness than they do volume for me. Real nice. The standard handle on this is a bit long for me, to be honest. It's probably about three and a quarter, three and three quarters inches. My ideal handle length is about three and a quarter, maybe three and a half. This is a bit long. Cool, that's the shave. Really easy. Lather was very quick to dial in. Let me get this on my face and I'll see you guys for the post. I'll be right back. Hey guys, post shave time. So for Phil, really nourish. There's absolutely no tightness whatsoever, which is kind of what I expect from this show. Wow, really good shave, very easy. Everything is easy there. Okay, let's use the matching splash. Really cool thing about his bottles is they have this long neck, quite a unique aesthetic. Chats with Grandpa, matching after shave splash. There's some good ingredients in this. Um, chamomile extract, uh, willow bark extract, some glycerin for a nice skin fill. It is alcohol based, but there isn't there just isn't much in here for me. Hardly any burn. And leaves the skin feeling nice. Fantastic, okay. So remember, to enter the giveaway, comment down below. If you've used Hub City, what do you think of their base? What do you think of the scents you've tried? If you haven't used Hub City, what looks interesting on their website? I'll put a link below of their website. Take a look, browse some of their stuff. Tell me what you like the sound of. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Those are the three things you need to do. Comment, subscribe, uh, go over to uh, Hub City's Instagram as well and give them a follow if you have an Instagram. He has some cool posts. Let me show you what I used today and I'll let you guys go. Um, Smart Apollo Helix, Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. I'll get that eventually. Um, I used a seventh use Wizomet, a red super radium in there. My soap today and the giveaway soap is Chats with Grandpa by Hub City Soap Company out of Lubbock, Texas. And I use that with the matching splash. And I also use this really nice chisel and hound brush with this V7 Fancharian. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And as always, goodbye for now.